let's take a look at the best plays of our CRL World Finals. This balloon play by Meek and Booyah was huge. In game five of King of the Hill, he recognized that Royal had played the Mega Minion and the Tombstone was out of cycle early on, so he snuck the balloon in down the right-hand side, taking an early tower, and this basically sealed the victory and put Pono Sports in the semi-finals in front of their home Japan crowd. No question, Rich. Our next play is pretty crazy. So King had a tough day at the seeding tournament, but came out first for Team Queso in King of the Hill. And boy, did he come back strong. He took damage early to conserve Elixir, and then created this massive golem push, taking one of the few three crown victories at World Finals. Such amazing strategy there. Speaking of strategy, Andrew, this was huge by Expo Master. Waiting until the final moments of regulation to expose that clone spell, the big golem bat push takes tower and helps seal a victory for King's Zone Dragon X. Our next electrifying play is not to be forgotten. Kiki and Gabo of Vivo Keed created a spell cycle deck to counter the bait deck they just lost to. In what appeared to be a must-win situation, Kiki and Gabo bounced back against our world champion, surprising them with a never-before-seen deck. That's what you call a heads-up play, Rich. And finally, here's the play that sealed the world championship for Nova Esports, Javi 14 versus LCOps, set number four of our final round. Javi 14 trying to get back in it, but the tornado takes the miner to activate the King Tower, and now LCOp recognizes that the defensive troops for the ground are not there for Javi 14, drops the Hawk Rider in a beautiful prediction log, takes out the tombstone, and that is it. LCOP seals the first ever CRL World Championship for Nova Esports, taking the crown back to China.